Good morning to all of you who 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 give a shit. Hi, how are you doing? It's Cameron from C and D. What is it? Operations? Yeah, I think so. Um, like I said last video, I was going to be doing more of these story time thingies. So uh, here's another one. This is gonna be the time that I nearly died. I'm being very like literal in the sense of the term because i i had literally almost died going off-roading but you don't you don't see me complaining or that shit i'm just gonna be working on my ar-15 in the background because i have a few things to do to it like readjust the scope and stuff like that so yeah let, let's get on with it all right i think this happened whew. Not recently, I think it was more like, um, fuck, I think it was, it was mid-2015 or 16, might have been 17, cause, uh, I wasn't too old, well, I know it wasn't recently, that's <laughs> pretty much it, and, uh, this was back when me and Nate were still friends and shit. And, well, now we're not. And that's that's just none of your guys' business. But we had a falling out with our family and stuff like that. And I don't really care if he sees this. Because at this Is this too big? I think this might be too big. Okay. I'm just doing it weirdly. Um, so, this was back when we were still friends. I mean, I'm not trying to be mean to the guy or anything, but, yeah, there, there's just, oh my god, this thing is, like, stuck on here. I might have to go to my other one. Um, so, we had been, go we, uh, we used to go out to Tooele. I live in Utah by Kearns, well, in Kearns, if you don't know. Um, so we would go out to Twilla every so... Am I doing it wrong? I don't know. Um, but we'd go out to Twilla every so often. Um, that time it was me, him, and his fiance. Or, I think it was his girlfriend at the time, but I don't really care. Why are you being a bitch? I don't know. Alright, we'll go, we'll move to this one right now. I wish people would stop texting me while I'm doing fucking videos. I, I literally told them, don't fucking text me. Ugh. Alright. I think I'm going the wrong way. And I think I'm also breaking my thing at the same time. Why do you turn like that? What the hell? Are you broken? I don't think you're broken. This is just really fucking confusing because it wasn't doing this shit earlier. I don't know. This is weird. Maybe it's to give you more torque. Alright, so, where was I? We were going out to Tooele because we were bored. And, um, he was like, hey, do you want to go overlanding? Or, we called it trailblazing or something like that at the time. Pioneering or some shit. And I was like, sure. Why not? So, um, we had gone pretty much up the hill. The big hill. The big mountain. In Tooele. Up to where the, like, radio station or something is. This thing is a pain in the ass. I'm not using it anymore. Where's the other one? It's holding my phone. Oh, fall. There we go. So he was like, hey, do you want to go, uh, overlanding? I was like, sure, why not? Um... So, 
I don't like this one because it's gross and it's fucking a pain in the ass. There we go. No other way. So we had driven up to basically where the radio tower is. And, um, we were like, let's do something really stupid. I was like, okay. And so, he was like, let's go down there doing stupid shit. I'm like, okay. So, uh, I went and hopped in the, I, I went and hopped in the bed of the truck and, um, he had gotten out of the truck and was trying to drive it from outside, which was stupid, but that was the name of the game. And I'm pushing it the wrong way. Um, oh my god, I put this on really tight. Holy shit. This poor scope. Or oh, it doesn't go up all the way. I need to repaint it. Um, so he was outside the truck and I was inside the truck. Well, inside the bed of the truck. So we were both outside. His fiance was in the drive in the passenger seat of the Front. He had like a 05 like uh, Dodge Hemi, I think. Nothing really too special. Um, and um, he was trying to drive it on the outside with like a freaking plastic golf club and I was like you're gonna freaking kill us all and I don't think we cared at that moment because it was kind of like fuck it whatever I I'd been like fucked it if I die I die can I get it and take So, um, we were going down, I don't know if we were listening to something or not, but, uh, okay, let's see if I can, okay, that's a lot better, but let's see how it is, let's say what. It's fine. All right. I don't know what else I was doing to do. All right. Um. Fuck. So we were we were going out doing that shit, and I made the smart decision of trying to get like from somehow I had made it from the fucking the bed of the truck to the hitch. And I don't know if I blacked out or something, but I was, like, hanging on to the hitch. And we were going down, like, 45, like, there was no road. We were going down, like, 45 miles an hour. I'm like, oh, shit, I am going to die. And uh, we, we were all like, oh, shit, we're going to die. Because he couldn't really drive it like that. And I was like, well, I'm I'm okay if I die, but I prefer not to. Uh, and so we were like, fuck, dude. And so he, his, his fiance was like, let me drive. I'm like, fuck, she's going to kill us even worse. So we let her drive and he was on the outside of the truck hanging on to the oh shit bar or the emergency handle. And I was like, hanging I was trying to hang on to the tailgate trying to pull myself back up and I somehow managed to 
I was like, you know what? I want to get back in the truck. That sounds a little safer. So what I did was I got to the very front of the truck. Like, I got to the very front, like, to the, where the cab meets the tr the the bed. And, um, we, we were, we were all screwing around. I was like, I, I want to try to get to the, to the, uh, to the door by here. To, like, to, to the inside. So, I had stepped one leg over and, um, I had almost fallen off the truck and gotten sucked up under the tire, which wouldn't have been a fun thing. So, I pulled myself up. Hoping to God I'm not going to die. Um, he's like, dude, you almost fucking died. I was like, no shit. And um, so they were bickering or something. I don't fucking remember. Um, but what I was doing was I was pulling myself up from the top of the uh, bed. And like the only that was the only thing saving me from uh falling underneath and getting sucked up under was my upper body strength. And so we were like, oh shit. And so I had, I had almost done like this Tomb Raider move where I was up, up high enough, like on my arms and I had swung my lower body down to where the, uh, the rock slider is, or basically the side the step that goes from the back of the cab to basically where the front wheel is i don't know how i did it but i had gotten on there and i had reached into the cab and unlocked the door and had it scoot slightly slightly back off and i was like oh shit this is gonna be my death and so i'd gotten in no idea how and we had made it back to the regular road and so we were like, you know what? That wasn't that that wasn't scary, <sniffs> scary enough. So I think I either like, I think I was hanging like sitting on the uh, window well or something like that, where you can like sit outside the truck but still be inside the truck like through the window. And I had lost my hat because we were driving pretty fast, and it went flying. I'm like, oh shit! There goes my hat. And I think it was my Cabela's one, where I it's basically. Um, an American flag with, like, grease stains and shit, so with, with the Second Amendment. No idea what happened to that hat. Um, we went and got it. He's like, you dumbass, you lost your hat. I'm like, well... Not much I could have done there, and that's kind of why I started wearing my hats like this. Because if you wear your hats like this, that bill's not going to catch all that wind. So, yeah. That's the story of how I nearly fucking killed myself doing, uh, going off roading with Nate. I hope this story was slightly satisfying. If not, I don't really give a shit. We're gonna do more! Because why not? And, uh, let me know if you guys still like the new area or whatever. I'll be working on my shotgun next time. So, yeah. I think this one's gonna be a little shorter. I was trying to remember, this, again, this happened a while ago, so I couldn't really remember anything. I've been talking to my parents and seeing if they remember anything or some of my friends. I think the next one we're going to do is how I nearly got expelled and thrown into prison for, uh, for something. That, well, that's going to be your option. That or, um, how I wrote Renee. So, uh, I think, I think we know which one is gonna have a little bit more of an effect, but hey, I don't know for sure, that's why I'm leaving it up to you folks. And I'll probably put out another video today, doing a review on a bag I got. It's actually pretty good, but you didn't hear that. Alright, Skins, I love you, and this is C&D Operations. Cameron from CND Operations, and we wish you the best. And keep chugging along and carrying your AR 15s in the public because fuck the fucking liberal. Nah, wait. Is it. Fuck the Democrats. Yeah, fuck the Democrats. We're a gun friendly can we're, we're We're a gun friendly channel, mate.
And yes, I know I have no clip in here, but I usually do. I salute you, motherfuckers. Alright, I love you guys. I'll see you later.